Well, there's stress, the stuff most of us feel every day. And then there's COVID stress, you know, the stuff that's really piled up during this pandemic. Mary Stoker Smith joining us now with one Elm Grove woman's story of trying to balance all of it. Yeah, that's right. For this Elm Grove woman we are about to meet, the pandemic brought painful memories of her darkest days. But she drew on the dismal days for strength to power through and has a few tips that may help you. Adrian Kaklanis knows what it's like to fall down and getting back up hasn't always been easy. After years of setbacks, this single mom of two teenage boys was finally finding some balance. Working as the director of events at an upscale hotel in downtown Milwaukee. Now bring that left hand back down. She never thought her job would be affected by the pandemic. It's never going to come here. She even got promoted during that time when nearly everything was shutting down. But just four weeks later, I was furloughed. She didn't think it would last. And truthfully, I thought I would be back in like June. But she wasn't. I knew I was in trouble. She applied for job after job after job. All I would get was either no responses or I would get rejection letters. Hearing she didn't make the grade was tough. Instead, she was thrown into a job she didn't necessarily want, but had to do, homeschooling. I felt like I had to be a, a drill sergeant. Again, Licensed psychologist like Rayanne Ho Fung says she's seen a lot of people struggling during the pandemic, especially so women. We have seen women <clears throat> trying to balance careers, homeschooling their children, and taking care of everyone else's needs. And for Adrian, things were about to get worse. I hurt my foot, the car dies. The hits just kept coming. It would have been easy to sit back and just give up. I'd cry privately in my room or I'd call my mom and I'd be crying. We live in America. We're the world of multitasking in the world. We're in a country where perfection is the standard and we need to do all things and we need to do them all perfectly. Women are supposed to be the caretakers. They're supposed to overextend themselves for their family and loved ones. For Adrian, this wasn't the first dark road she's traveled. February of 2014, I got an OWI and that did not stop me from drinking. I continued to drink for a week straight. I physically could not feel better unless I drank at six o'clock in the morning. I was really good at hiding it and, and lying. To draw strength in the now, she reflects on what she says was the worst time in her life. I was to the point where I just figured that everyone else would be better off without me. The suicide attempt a turning point. And it caught up with me. She decided then to start a new chapter. And she did it with the help of Rogers Behavioral Health in Milwaukee. Experts say if you're in a situation like Adrian's, it's important to know you're not alone. This has been a really tough year for a lot of reasons. In fact, finding peace and imperfection can be the first step in lowering anxiety. There are, you know, very short mindful meditations to very long mindful meditations are sleep stories but so getting yourself into a space where you can just shut the door and shut it out we need to give ourselves permission and have that self-compassion to know that we are not superheroes we are human we're not per perfect it's okay not to be perfect still i couldn't help but ask if she was tempted to take a drink during all the drama of the pandemic i don't want to throw all of that away in fact she just celebrated seven years of sobriety. And as motivation, she focuses on downward dog and exhaling. And her real dog, Rowan, for maintaining a good state of mind. I would walk the dog three times a day. My dog kept me sane. And get this, she recently landed a job doing something far from working at the fancy hotel she used to, but a career that brings her a lot of satisfaction. It's just a joy, an absolute joy. Now she works as a counselor for those struggling with addiction. Because I can relate to the people. After all, it's not about how many times you fall down, it's telling yourself to get back up. I'm just so grateful, so, so grateful. Mary Stoker Smith, Fox 6 News.
And you know, finding that space where you can shut the door and shut it out even for just five minutes is enough for a mindful meditation. In fact, the doctor also recommends exercise. If you are short on time, a quick brisk walk will do. Also use your phone. She likes the app Calm, it's a good one. And when all else fails, take a piece of paper, write down what's bugging you, then tear it up, throw it away. It's amazing what those little things can do. Yeah. You know, sometimes just getting outside and just seeing the sunshine exactly. can help too. Balance it all out. Mary, thanks. Exactly.